stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of God Wars Future Past. It's been a little while, guys and gals. I'm sure I'm going to take a little bit of time to get back into things and get it all smoothed out and whatnot. But these are amongst my favorite type of games to play, these tactical turn-based, squad-based strategy games. So games like this, Fell Seal, Final Fantasy Tactics, Shining Force, they're all very similar in content and theory design. You know, you get a squad, you send them in, you do tactical turn-based strategy battles with a whole, you know, that that's, I, that's my jam. That's what I love. So the fact that we're back here doing this is a return to something that I absolutely love and enjoy. That being said, that doesn't mean I'm going to will say neglect some of the other things I'm doing. Battle Brothers is super hot right now. I'm loving what I'm doing playing that and I'm really enjoying my time and a lot of other folks are enjoying it as well. So I'm going to try to keep to maybe on the weekends we'll do like a tactical turn-based strategy RPG weekend. I, I got nothing. Where basically most of the games will be along these lines. So I plan to do Fell Seal and God Wars Future Past right now and then yeah, we'll do some Shining Force and Final Fantasy Tactics in the next thing. And there's something coming out in July that I'm looking forward to covering. Though I doubt that I'll get my hands on it, so it'll have to be one that I grab for myself. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's get let's get into it. Let's get some damage done on these baddies here. Uh, before we do that... No, I suppose we could do that first. What was... What is this? Uh, unit, increase the unit's drop rate and money earned. Eh. Wasn't bravery something special? Oh. Eh. Oh, of everybody in turn. Allies. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's try that. But I'd have to be closer. Hmm. I don't know that I want to get right up in there. Alright, you know what? We're just going to go with a basic attack. Maybe... It won't do a tremendous amount of damage. 28, though. 80% chance to hit. Pretty decent odds. Let's see what we got. Nope, we didn't hit. It's okay. We gave it a shot. We tried. Alright, so it's our turn now. I'd like to look around. Is there anything else that we've missed? There is a box over here. So before we finish it all up, we want to make sure we get to that. But we can kill off everybody else and then have one person left and then take that. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. Alright, let's get Aomi. I forgot exactly how to pronounce most of these names. So we have like Kagua, Aomi, and others. I don't know. We'll see. Action! It is uh, skill time. We're going to be doing some fiery words. And it is going to hurt quite a bit, I dare say. I dare say it's not going to be an enjoyable experience for anyone involved. My turn. Get handled. Well done. Well done. And if I recall correctly, I'm pretty excited because I believe it's Aomi. She is the same voice actress who did Magilu? And you guys know how much I loved Magilu from the Tales of Berseria series. Or game, I guess. It was quite a good. And, uh, yeah. That was a heavy blow. Oh, you done missed, buddy. Alright, well... Not sure what we're gonna do with you, friend. Katsuragi? Is that really his name? Really that's... It probably is, probably is his name. Right, we have Gale Attack. Cleave, Collusion. Uh, it's fine. Spark Blower. Swing, Iron Arm Throw, Threat. Looks like a unit will stop. I can just attack him too. 46 damage. Well, let's see what else we can do. Let's just see what the skills are going to allow me to do here. This one's going to be 80. Let's do that. <laughs> Boop. Hey, our priest went up. Nice. That's not what I wanted. I didn't mean to turn around. Alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use a skill ourselves. Uh, reduces damage taken until next turn. I think I'm just going to go first aid. There you go, on the big on the big fluffers here, the big fluffies. 
And... I'll just stand by. Alright, so this guy gets to move. Swallow Slash. It might hurt a little bit, but we'll be fine. Okay, so... Now... Now that we have Kuma here... We can do Throw, we can do Guts, First Aid, we can do Taunt. I think that's gonna be what we do. We're gonna continue to Taunt, making sure everybody's focused on the big fluffers. And he's gonna handle business. Alright, it's turn number eight. We're feeling pretty good with ourselves right here, right now. I think we could probably even... Uh, use a skill that's gonna potentially, potentially do a little bit of damage to him. 94... I only got 61 HP. I feel like it's a little bit overkill. Can we do a skill that's not quite so expensive? Still gonna do some damage. That's pretty much the same thing. All right, I guess we're just gonna use Rose. It's fine. Here I come. One less. <laughs> Goodbye. It's a treasure. We got some clairvoyant fluid there. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna send her off to go get the other item. All right, Kagua. Let's get you to move here. And let's get you to... We should have some attack powers with her, I think. I feel like a little bit. Yeah, we got the... We got the uh, Oni Flame. Yeah, let's do that. 41, I'll take it. Go! Enjoy. Alright, it's now Aomi's turn. I think we can move right here. And we've got ourselves some pretty good stuff here. Magic attack. 53 damage. Dude's still got 146 health. So do we have anything that's a little bit stronger? We have deadly words. 33% chance. What about crushing words? 67... Fiery words, oh boy. That's just so much damage there. I can't in good conscience use that one. Fountain, individual water magic that does a thing. 73. Blasting. 40. Uh, calls forth the deadly spirits, 35% chance to decrease. That's not all that impressive. Alright, let's just do crushing words. Uh wait, we did we had one better than that, didn't we? Fountain was more? It was 73. Let's do 73. Nice. Alright, you gonna move up and heal? You should. Protection ritual. Alright, you can hit both of your peeps with protection ritual. It's okay. I can I can get behind that. It's not a bad plan. Target, you're gonna buff your own ability to hit and stuff, yep. Okay, let's move into position with our boy here, uh, Katsusuragi. And I guess just a basic attack would be fine, but we want to use skills, we do. The reason we want to use skills is, well, it's pretty obvious, but two vertical spaces at once, that's fine. Uh, we get those special abilities, like those special jobs one thing going our way. 61, down he goes. Nice. So for the specific classes that we're going for, we're getting additional job points that we would normally be getting. I guess is the easiest way to say it. Action skill. Heavy blow. Tackle, gather herb, cedar scatter. Increase evasion. Let's go with Cedar Scatter. Reflect Blur, maybe uh, eyes will go down. I don't know, blind or whatever I did. Oh, blind, there we go. Uh, so he shouldn't be a threat anymore. Not sure what I'm going to do with you exactly, but... I guess we could target your foot. Oh, Puma! Critical. 
Miracle. So again, the goal is not to actually destroy her, it's to kill off the other. Um, not status. I'd like action. Let's go with skill. Magic attack. I'm actually kind of far out here. Alright, I guess we're just going to move then. Uh, we should still do something. Meditation? Sure. Except we're, we're maxed out on that. Uh, sure, we'll do that. Magic mirror spell. There we go, get a level up off of it, see? Brilliant! Well, I feel like that's misleading, but, yeah. Skill, Oni Flame, I'm okay with that. Let's cook this guy. 47, I'll take it. And skill, Fountain. 87 out of the 139 HP that you have left. And we also get 20 out of that. I'm not real sure why. It's probably in the skill and I'm just not noticing. Alright, they both get the move. There's no doubt going to be healing going off here. Oh, they can heal our own people, maybe? No? I mean, we weren't really missing any HP, so it's not like that big of a deal, but... I mean, I suppose I could just kill her. Gale attack! She's real close to death. That can't be good for her. Alright. I guess I can kill this guy off, probably. I probably have something that lets me do that. I really don't have that many skills, do I? Visual attack is an enemy level. Tackle? No. What about heavy blow? I said good day, sir! Down again. Alright. Clairvoyant fluid. Sounds gross. It's fine. Alright, actions, skills. What do we want to do with you? Unleash beast. What does that do? Increase base stats, but can't use skills. Recovery, prayer. I suppose I can heal myself for quite a bit, actually. There it is. Well, I feel a little bit bad about this this lady that's left trying to heal us, or uh, trying to fight us as a healer. It's not really going to go her way, unfortunately. Magic... Okay. Here I come. Magic shield spell. Alright. Oh, I think I know what we're doing. Is that that one? Oh, that's not, that's definitely not that one. It's bravery. That's what I wanted. Yeah. I'll buff everybody up. A little bit of attack, a little bit of magic attack, and a little bit of aiming. Our priest is now level 8 within her. Alright, what kind of actions or skills do we have available for you? Increase own water resistance and, and key resistance. Okay. Huh? Right. Our priest level is six too. Alright. I assume you're gonna heal, right? You're gonna move back and you're gonna heal. Yep. Heal this. I didn't do a lot. Not gonna lie. A little bit disappointed. Uh, guts, why not? Reduce the damage taken. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Easy, self sufficient skills that get us results, I guess? We'll just turn the gant. Can't do it. So we're gonna polish our weapon. Well, that seems not weird in any way, shape, or form. 
And I stand over here for no reason whatsoever. It's fine. Oh, I suppose I could taunt. Or I could increase my own attack. Yeah. Cool. Stand by. And it's the next turn, ladies and gentlemen. Turn number 11. We're still not within range. It's really disappointing how slow we move. But again, that's more free stuff for everybody, I suppose. Heal a unit's MP by 35 and increase their... No. 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 Maybe. Here I come. A little bit of vitality prayer to throw into the mix. Sure. Alright, what's next? Protection ritual. Why not? I wish you could move while you had that like selected. That would be nice. Oh, not item. I, over I overshot. Let's go! I overachieved. Nice, another level up. Very cool. Oh, what else we got? Actions, skills. Uh, it's fine. MP recovery rate up. Yeah. All right, you're gonna continue to move along. And it's nearly time for us to put you down, but not quite yet. Kintaro's gonna move up. Skill. I'll shout about it. Alright, it's all good. Alright, action, skill. Why not? We'll repair our armor while we're at it. We polished our weapon, we can repair our armor. It's all good. Alright, just gonna move up on you. Just saying hello, you know. Just, just keeping it there. Action, skill, taunt. Check out my impurity. Which is at... 854. I feel like I should definitely be the primary target of your assault and hate. Alright, we can finally move over and... Search? We got a life stone. I don't think that was probably worth it, but whatever. Huh. Is there anything else? Does not look like it. All right. Move here, and can I attack? I can. <laughs> She's having a bad day. Alright. I'm gonna move over here. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to light you on fire with a little bit of fountain attack. And that's it for this one. It is the yes. end. That's where we begin. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I definitely enjoyed coming back to this. So again, I know a lot of people, I don't know if it's going to throw me right into like chatting here or whatnot. I know a lot of people are big fans of NIS America's tactical turn-based strategy games in That's general. Enough. Okay, Let's see if I can talk without it jumping over me. Um, stuff like the Disgaea series, uh, Phantom Brave, La Pucelle Tactics. There's a whole bunch over the years that have come out. Tactical turn-based strategy games. This one seems to be more closely designed after Final Fantasy Tactics. A lot of the less insane and crazy ideas are missing. And it's a lot more simplistic and more classical along your lines of tactical strategy games. So a lot of people kind of would probably enjoy this if they gave it a chance and they played it. I don't know how well it's done. I know it did release onto the Nintendo Switch and I didn't get my Switch until probably about a year later. 
than it released, so that would have been cool to grab on my Switch back in the day, or like, if I had the Switch at the time this released, but I ended up getting my PS4 right around when this released onto Nintendo Switch. Anyway, long story short, if you guys did enjoy, you know, Final Fantasy Tactics, but you feel like Disgaea is a little bit too crazy for you, maybe this is more along your lines of uh, something you would enjoy. Yeah, just something to think about, something to give a, a, a shot to, so there you have it. So many. There are a lot of them. We're completely surrounded. Well, to take your thumb out of your nose, man. <laughs> oh, Guma, not even Kuma now. That's not take good. Take them away. It's a consecutive battle stage. You won't return to the world map between battles. Oh, okay. What does edit mean? I am going to save, and it's been since September since I last saved. Or since I last played, I should say. What does edit mean? I'm just curious. Oh, we can, okay, we can modify and change our characters up and everything. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We're going to continue on, but we're probably going to break it off before we really get into this. So we'll see what the story is for episode 12 here, but... Ta Tataraba Yoshida. Club has high attack and magic attack. Can attack diagonally and takes two hands to wield, I guess. This great! It's strong! It does look that way. We have to get out of here! And go to Hyuga. Uh, what is this? What could this be for? This is no good. Uh huh. Well. We have to find a way out of here. I won't let Lady Kaguya's journey end here. But what can I do? Yeah. I don't know. Won't your gods help you at a time like this? Yeah. I'm not sure. I doubt Lord Izanagi and Lady Izanami can do anything. Why? <sighs> it's the Pied Piper. No, I have this no idea feeling. what's going on. It's back. Oh? This time, it's from that direction. Okay. Creepy. It's come now. That girl's skinny arms can't budge this steel door. Uh. They probably gave up. I hope so. My heart's racing from all these beautiful women. Okay, man. I'm especially interested in that mature woman in the back. <laughs> nice. Uh, are you serious? Either way, keep your hands off the prisoners. Yeah, seriously, man. Come on. Be nice. Didn't Lord Sasano tell you to take good care of them? Oh, it's I plan like to. Uh, but I'm just curious. Uh, what does that mean? Don't lose focus. A well-known proxy from Fuji has arrived. Oh? The situation with Hyuga is delicate, so Lord Susano doesn't want to incite Fuji. Return that black-haired girl without any wounds. The same goes for those other two. Yeah, emotional or otherwise. Who is it? What the heck? I'm sorry. Uku... What? U... Aukuninushi. Aukuninushi. Yeah, that. <laughs> Pronounced flawlessly. Just want to point that out. As always. Yeah. Who's there? It's me, Lady Kaguya. You're the son or something? Sir Okuninushi! Okuninushi. Okuninushi. I got it, nothing. You tricked us. You've got guts showing up here! Well... Please, you have to be quiet. I'll explain later. Now let's hurry. Yeah, let's get out of here. The little smile on her face. The prisoners! Capture the... Oh. Capture the... Uh. Who's this person? 
That's not enough, Prince of Izumo. Uh-oh. What's up, man? I'm ashamed of myself. You should be. You're... I freed the male prisoners. Let's go. Uh, okay. Cool. D um... Sure. Yeah, no, that's, that's totally fine. This way, Lady Kaguya. Kintaro and the others will soon be... Oh, boy. There they are. Kintaro! Kintaro! So, Kaguya, finally got my right? finger out of my nose. Nope, never mind, it's back. Yes, we're all alright. What about you guys? Ah, we're fine. We just all snuggled up on the big fluffy guy and just took a nap. It was it was fine. We're good too. Hold on. We'll come to you. What is that? Probably something terrible. Yep, that's not good. <laughs> Surprise! Who is that? That is Doggo McGee. It's coming. Get ready. Okay. Well, looks like we're fighting Doggo McGee in the next episode, guys and gals. So, hopefully you look forward to that. It's, uh, like I said, it's a return to some of the stuff that I love more. I, again, don't get me wrong. That's not, I'm not saying that the stuff that I'm playing now I don't absolutely love. Because that, that would be a lie. I do love the things that I'm doing now. But these are amongst my favorite type of games. So, while, honestly, yeah, I suppose a couple of them even made it into my top ten. But... My top ten is pretty diverse, too, so. Anyway, let's uh, throw down our peeps and uh, see what's going on. I guess they're already out, so all we can really distribute are the three. Oh, no, 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 I don't, I don't want to put you there. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't. What if I... Huh, that's interesting. Could, could I do that? Nope, they have to go in the spots. I was wondering if I could maybe exchange them for one of the other. But that is not the case. I guess that's fine. Battle start. I assume we're not going to be the fastest of the people this time around. I'll never Ukami. forgive. Okay. What are we what not forgiving? This? Or forgiving, rather? What are we not forgiving? Okuchi Makami. A Tatarigami of an Ookami. Uh, stuff that he said. Yeah. Okuchi Makami. Okuchi Makami. Okami. Tatarigami. Tatarigami. Okuchi Makami. The wolf in the mountains is called Ookami when honored as a god. Okay. Anyway, this chaotic presence looks like Ookami is possessed by Aramitanas. Oh, Ar Aramitanas. Okay. Did it become a Tatarigami? Please be careful, Lady Kaguya. You know, that, that all seems <laughs> fine. A stray from Izumo is acting like a Tatarigami? I'll de-rust my sword with it. Oh, you have a rusty sword. Maybe you should keep Don't get too close. it a little bit cleaner. Don't ever underestimate. The Prince of Izumo is such a weakling. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, looks like we get to go first. But only barely. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be where we break off the episode. It will not be anywhere near as long uh, in the next episode between when we uh, return. It'll be a lot quicker. Anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time with more God Wars. Future past, I guess it is. All right, until then, I'm Bumpy McSquiggums. Thanks so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.